Hey guys, Steve Petrato here with Horizon Hobby. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up your Spectrum DX18 radio with your Blade 350 QX3. Keep in mind, this will be a little different for the QX2 as far as the gimbal control, so you won't be able to use this video to set up that model. But the QX3, the Ready to Fly, Bind Fly, and the AP Combo, this is perfect for. All right, let's get started. First thing I want to do is turn on my radio and select a new model. So I'm going to go ahead and hold my roller down, turn the radio on to get up in, into system settings. Then I'm just going to do model select. I'm going to select the first model here. And then I'm just going to go ahead and clear it uh, just to make sure. So I'll just go to model reset. I'm using a Gen 1 DX18 here, but it's all the same as far as the programming goes. Okay, so now we're fully reset. I'm going to go ahead and just turn down my, my volumes here. So you don't hear that all the video. Okay, now go back into list and let's get started. Alrighty, so the first thing we want to do is go into channel assign. So that's going to be right here. We're going to click that. We're going to go here. The first menu is not important to us. We can leave that all alone. We're going to hit next. Go to next. Now, we want to go ahead and go through here, and I'm just going to clear out everything now, and we'll go back and fix it in a second, just so I know that everything is, is done. So all we're doing is, is the roller button down, hit the clear, roller button down to confirm, and that's pretty much all we're doing. All right, back to gear. We want gear. This is going to be our flight mode switch, so that's going to go to B. Now, that's going to be this switch at the top of the radio right here. This is where I normally put all my helicopter stuff, where most people put their helicopter flight modes. Um, so that will be fine. Now, we want to go to AUX1 and select that as being A. That's going to turn on gimbal control for us. That is this switch back here. And then we're going to go to aux 2, and that's going to be our gimbal control. And we're going to set that to the knob up top. And, but you can select on the right slider or the left slider, whatever is comfortable to you. Um, the knob here is in the manual, so we're just going to follow what the manual says. So that's going to be this roller up here. You can put it on the side rollers, either on the left or right side. Um, but I, let's just do the knob for now. Okay, so that's done. Go back to list. And we can go back to the, the main menu here. So we can hit back, the lower button here, go all the way to this menu. Now we want to go click the button once, get into the menus again, and we're going to scroll down to throttle cut. This is really important because this is what stops your motors. Click that, you're going to turn that to the bind button. Now again, you can set it to whatever switch you want. I like switch I because that is the bind button. So that's switch I. Again, that's going to be this guy right here that will kill the motor when we push that. You don't have to do anything else after this. Once you select it, it's all done. We can cycle that switch, and you'll see up here in the monitor that uh, that is actually actuating correctly. So that's going to kill the motors. Once that's done, we can go out of there. And now we want to go into servo setup. All we're going to do here is go to travel through the first menu screen. We're going to go all the way to aux 1, and we're going to adjust the endpoints. So the upper one here is going to be 140. Actually, this is the, this is the lower endpoint. Oh, that is the upper. This is the upper endpoint. This is going to be 140, and the lower endpoint is going to be 120. Then the way I just did that to get this box selection is just actuate switch A, and which is this again, which is the same switch we set up before. So if I have it in the low position, you'll see that it's the top box. If I flip it up into the position towards me, it's going to be that that other box. That's how we adjust that. All right, guys, that's it for the DX18 setup. It's real simple to do. Just keep in mind that knob that we adjusted is going to be your pitch control, and that switch, the switch A, is going to be your gimbal activation. So if it's up, you can activate the gimbal. If it's down, you can't. Uh, with the 18, the 9, and the 6, they all have rollers, so you don't need to stop in the air for three to five seconds. You can adjust it on the fly, uh, so keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's everything I've got for this video. Check us out on bladehelis.com, bladequad.com, or on Facebook at facebook.com slash bladehelis. Thanks.